Hi and welcome back to MyExcelOnline.com. Today we are going to go over how to create an app from a list inside of SharePoint. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. So to get to SharePoint, I'm here on office.com and I'm logged in with my Office for Business account. If I go up here to the App Launcher, I can go here to All Apps and I can scroll down to the S's so that I can access SharePoint. And once I'm in SharePoint, I can go over here to Create and I can go to a list. And I will be prompted to create a list here. And a list in SharePoint is essentially kind of like a spreadsheet, but all the data resides in SharePoint instead of in Excel. So I'm going to go back to our recipe database that we used in our first Power Apps lesson, and I'm just going to import that information from Excel. And I'm going to scroll down to my recipe spreadsheet and hit Next. And then I'm going to see that I'm getting Table 1 where all my recipes are, and then I'm going to hit Next and I'm just going to call this recipes in SharePoint and I'm going to hit create and I can now see that SharePoint has imported all of my recipes from Excel so this is exactly what I want instead of this residing in Excel it now resides in SharePoint so now that I have a SharePoint list I want to show you how easy it is just to create an app for this list inside of Power Apps if you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. All I need to do is go up here to integrate, hit this down arrow, hit power apps and go to create an app. I'm going to give this app a name and I'm going to say SharePoint recipes and I'm going to hit create. And I can see that SharePoint has now created an app very similar to the one that we created from Excel in our first lesson. So if I go up here to preview, I can see that I can search for recipes. So let's put in salad and all my salads appear. I can add a new recipe by clicking the plus. So let's make this category main course and let's call the recipe AAA so that it sorts to the top. I'll put in test here and maybe I don't want this field to appear so we will talk about that in a few minutes and I'm going to leave this attachment field in case I would like to attach a hard copy of my recipe so I'm going to hit the check mark and let's go back to SharePoint and if I go to recipe and I go A to Z I can see that my test recipe has been entered in here and that's exactly what I wanted to happen if I click on these three dots and I go to delete and I delete that it will be deleted from SharePoint and if I search for it in my app I'm also unable to find it in my app so you can see that my app is controlling the data that's inside SharePoint and the data that's inside SharePoint is controlling the data inside my app which is exactly what I want to do so I'm going to X out of here okay so let's go back and get rid of that field that we don't want to see over here I can see the forms that Power Apps has created. I'm just going to click this arrow and I can see that I have three forms in my app. The browse screen which is the one that's up right now. But then I have the detail screen and I also have the edit screen. And both of those screens have this field called Power Apps ID. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go over here to this drop down box and I'm going to go down to this property called Visible. And up here, I can see that this is set to true. I never want to see this field, so I'm just going to set this to false. And I'm going to go back to the detail screen and select this, select visible again, and also set that to false. And then I'm going to hit the back button and I will be prompted to save my app. And I'm going to say save. So now if I go to apps, I may need to refresh this a few times in order to see the app appear in the list, but I can see it right here under SharePoint Recipes. So if I click on that and I go to Add New, see how the Power Apps ID is still here? 
So go back to Power Apps, click these three dots, and go down to Details. And then go over here to Versions, and you can see that several versions of your app are automatically saved inside of SharePoint, and it looks like this one is live. But this is the one that I made those changes on. So if I click these three dots, I can go to Publish this version. And then I'm going to hit Publish this version. And then if I go back over to my app, I may need to refresh my browser. And you can either hit the Refresh button or hold down Shift while refreshing. And then if I click Add New, I can see that that field is now invisible. And if I X out of here and I go to Details, I can also see that that field is no longer visible. So that's how you can get rid of some fields and start customizing your new app. But sometimes the cache lasts a little bit longer and the updates take a few minutes to post to the cloud. So just be patient with that and use your refresh button on your browser. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to create an app using a SharePoint list. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotion and pay rises that you deserve then click up here and join our academy online course today